I have done so much work on my goals and thinking about the new year and thinking about January that it is about damn time that I get to set up my bullet journal for January so that it's ready when I am done with my break and I can hit the ground running and let's just get into it. Hi everybody, today I am very excited. This will be the first monthly setup in my new bullet journal. If you wanna see the yearly setup, I will link it up above. It was a lot of labor. Uh, it made my hand fall off, but it was probably the most intricate bullet journal setup I've ever done. And I am going to keep going, man. And the bullet journal I am using is the Baron Fig Confidant Notebook in the plus size. It is seven by 10 inches. It's big. It a big boy. With the wine colored leather cover on the front. When I did my bullet journal setup, I utilized pinks and grays with pops of burgundy and mustard and whatever. And I'm going to follow through with that this month and do a color scheme as well. And we'll talk about that in a second. This applies I'm using is a handful of Pigma Microns in various sizes from 005 all the way up to 08 plus the one graphic liner and the brush pen. Thin and thick. I've also got a pencil and a plastic eraser just in case because even though I usually scorn pencil and rulers, you can see here I put a couple of pencil marks in because after my five hour plus filming session when I filmed my yearly one, I just don't want to kill my hand again. We have this habit tracker stamp from Notebook Therapy. It's part of their big bullet journal set and some chalk ink in black from Prima. What else do I have? Oh, I have my colors. That's the thing I wanna show you. So here are the pens I'm gonna be using. It is a blues with like a little bit of gray. And then for the pop of color, I'm using mustard because when I was talking to my patrons about potential colors on one of our streams, we came to the conclusion that blue with mustard or like blue with gold and yellow would be fucking rad. And so I kept that in the back of my mind. So I've got this dark blue that I'm going to use in lieu of like black for any headers I decide to do because the white gel pen does show up on that which I'm also using as I'm not very organized. The white Uniball Signo, where the hell is it? The white Uniball Signo, where the hell is it? The white Uniball Signo gel pen in broad. Yay, it shows up, even though that was all janky looking, but whatever, just trust me, it shows up. And then, so I have some blues and I will leave all of these linked below in the description with the numbers written down and everything. So I'm using, so I'm using then another like kind of bright blue and then a pale blue, bringing back the blue hit artist brush pen a cool toned gray you know it's january it's winter even though it's california so it doesn't feel very wintry here and this kind of bronzy kind of yellow the numbers will be in the description below in case you would like to recreate any of these colors and then also with my idea of trying to kind of theme. This is again, something I've never really done. I've sort of half-assed my way through it, but I'm more interested in being fancy because this is my only planner this year for planning. I have a planner lineup video if you want to see that too. I did poppies because poppies are a California flower and I'm a California girl, but for January with these cool tones, what I really want to do is like a really basic fir tree or like pine tree. So really quick, I'm going to show you how to do one. I want something that is not very labor intensive, but can be done quickly. Take your brush pen and just draw a line downwards and like press down a little bit more as you go down. And it can be like kind of more, like you can let your hand shake. It actually looks better. If you let your hand shake, it looks a little bit more realistic. And then you just sort of do some like little strokes <laughs> and you can stroke it out a little bit more like this and make it bigger as you go down and you can leave a little bit of a doesn't have to be perfect. The, again, the less perfect it is, the fancier it looks, which is my favorite thing because I'm not fancy. You can just make a quick one by just leaving a little bit of space to be branches. I have this, what is this? It's a Pentel brush pen that has like actual bristles. And with this one, you can really like make something kind of, is it gray? Whoops. Well, I thought I had a black one, but yeah, you just kind of scribble out the branches with like quick little situations and you can make these loose trees. And I wanna do them kind of over some of the colors cause I think that'll look neat. I'm not gonna be getting as detailed as I did with the poppies just for the sake of my own personal tendonitis. Now you may notice as I'm working today, I don't know for sure, I'm not voicing this over, I'm just doing this cause that's the way I live my life. But like if I change markers to do the trees, it might be because I wanna make a little bit bigger of one. So I have like my Tombow brush pen sitting here, my big fatty boom baddie, and I've got a couple of other black brush pens kind of floating around of different sizes so I may rotate depending on how big I want the trees to be. Over here I want to do a brain dump so I, I like having a spot where I can kind of blurb everything that I want to at the beginning of a month. I don't tend to like super fill up my brain dump pages and these pages are so big 
that I actually want to put like a quote. Again, I already put one quote in here, so why not put another quote? But it's not going to be like your standard, like believe in yourself and you'll have a fucking orgasm type shit. I want to put like a a more Cindy related quote. And the one I want to put here is actually related to Aquarius. So January is my birthday month and I am at the end of January. I'm an Aquarius. And from what I understand, if you believe in all that shit, there's gonna be like seven planets in Aquarius in February. And we're going to be like in the age of Aquarius or some shit. So fuck yeah, Aquarius. And I read something somewhere that said Aquarius's brains run faster than their mouths. And I have never heard something that applies to me more than that. So I want to put that in the middle of the page and then just leave empty space that I can use for a brain dump should I need to. And if not, it'll just be a cool looking quote. I want to have shapes behind the simple trees I'm doing to like elevate them a little bit from just being like scribbly ass trees. Not perfect shapes, but not necessarily like super like paint splattery shapes either. This is the year for me to try and be a little bit like experimental. All right. So to do this quote, what I did was I wrote in just this kind of janky font that I really like. And I even fucked up what letters I was using in it, but who cares, right? And then I used the darker blue to write Aquarius in the white gel pen with a little black line just down the thick sides of it. It's another font that I love using. And then I decided to take this O2 micron and kind of scribble around both the block here and the outside of the blob. It kind of makes it look a little bit more stylized and I really like that. And then that means I have all this space for a brain dump if I want to, and if I don't, then I don't. I really fell into, when I was using my other bullet journal, this idea of cutting the page. Cut the page. So what I want to do is do like the word January and then do the, the, the the, the tree situation coming out of the bottom here and then cut it down around. And I got the idea from Shada Campbell. She does that a lot in her journal. And what she does is then she flips it and puts all of her goals and shit here where it's hidden. I just want to put my task list there. You know, the white is like working on the blue, but it's like chunking up a little bit. So it's kind of scratchy looking, which is fine. I'm not like hating on the scratchiness, but at the same time, it's like, motherfucker, just be fucking good. (laughs) Note here that I did some bigger trees and then did some like smaller trees with less branches in the back. I'm not trying to like make this again, like super labor intensive. What I want is for this to be, you know, relatively easy, um, (laughs) relatively easy on my tendonitis. I'm going to erase this bit right here. Do some kiss cutting with my little scissors and we're going to see how much I hate my life. This is me being, uh, ambitious. I don't even have my good scissors. I keep saying that. I've like said that in like two live streams and I still haven't like bothered to go look in my teenager's room for my good scissors because it's my teenager's room. And A, I want them to have their privacy and B, it's nasty in there. I want nothing to do with the nastiness. But you know what I also don't want anything to do with? This bullshit. Okay. Here. I got away. God, am I leaving handprints on everything? I know if I fucking do a you know, like a little thing down to keep my hands from like ruining everything, then that would be great. But that's too much work. I'm already doing too much work. (laughs) Okay. Beep. And let's see here. Kind of, kind of want to bring this in just a skosh up to there. Good enough. I want to continue the light blue, so I shit. That wasn't the way I was gonna go with it, but I guess we are now. And I just made a mistake, but that's okay. I have an idea. Just give me a hot second here, and I'll fix it. So what do we want to do? We want to make this the thing, but then we also want to kind of bring it in here, kind of like a blah blah blah. You know, I have had to charge the battery more times doing this in this particular notebook than with any other fucking video ever. This video and the first one, the big one, Jesus fucking blah. Like, is this how the, like the big girl, the big girls and guys and non-binary bullet journal people do it? Is this how the, is this like the way they live their lives? I mean, it's fun, but like, I'm barely doing shit. And my tendonitis is like, Cindy, what the fuck are you doing? And you know, I talk about my tendonitis a lot, but I think I got my tendonitis from cake decorating and lettering has done nothing but exacerbate it. 
And the reason I bring that up is because when people think about like creative careers, repetitive motion injuries might not be the first thing that you think about. Now I'm going to add a little section here, scribble it in because I have no more fucks left to give and I still have like four more spreads to do. <laughs> so we're going to flip this back and we're going to add the same color here, which does smear it. So that's why I was trying to avoid it. But see, look, it matches, matchy, matchy. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take that same liner and just repeat the same like scribble around it for the fun. And then I'll just build my task list, which I'm not gonna fill in right now. If you wanna see it filled in, tune in to my live plan with me's. I do a live plan with me every Sunday, 2.30 p.m. Pacific time. The first one of 2021, January 3rd, question mark. And I will be doing my first weekly spread in this setup. Whoops, shit fire. How am I gonna cover that up? I guess I can put some white down and then I could just leave it. You know, I could just say, fuck it, but I'm doing so much hard work. That didn't work very well. Oh my God, that made it worse. God damn it. I was doing so well. I was being all fucking aesthetic. See, I don't mind it being like hella weird. You know what I mean? Like it's fine. That's the aesthetic we're going for. That bothers me so much. I need to figure out something to put right there. I could put a sticker there. But do I want to put a sticker there? I guess I could put another tree there. Maybe I should do that, like uh, right here, because you know how these are going behind the January? Yeah. Guys, I got an idea. I got ideas. I got all sorts of ideas. I just threw that on the ground. One of my cats is probably going to eat it. That would be sexy. Not really. I'm actually joking there. So it would be like right here, right? Yeah. And it's going to go right behind. Okay, look at that. <gasps> Hell yeah! It's like I did it on purpose. And then maybe what I'll do to bring in one of the other colors is kind of do a like little blurby blurb here. Real man of genius. Cause I can write my task down over this. Like it doesn't even matter. I'm gonna take a moment here to chew it over to find the softer side of Sears. I think I'm just gonna put this situation here. This is my deli paper I use for mixed media work, but I'm trying not to like make my shit go. It's all over my hand, but it's not on my notebook so far. I don't wanna do anything in my bullet journal, but I'm gonna have to like leave pages in between it to keep it all crisp and fabulous. I just don't want it to get all jacked up while I'm filming, but I also don't want my filming to take 8,000 years. So we're doing some crispiness right now. The calendar and the habit tracker. And then I think the other two spreads I have are actually gonna be pretty easy. So I might've actually gotten through the the hardest part. The first part is the deepest. I want to do a monthly overview calendar that I can use to look at my videos and other things. And then what I also wanna do on this page is my habit tracker. So if you watched my power sheets setup, where are my power sheets? There are my power sheets. I have some habits. Oh, that reminds me. I do have something else to do. Hold please. We need to go, I'm so all over the place, you guys. We need to go to my, cause this will actually be relevant. We need to go to my year of healthy challenges for January. My January healthy challenge is getting up at 6 a.m. every day. Because I found that if I get up at 6 a.m., it gives me enough time before the kids and Jesse start getting ready for their days where I can actually get my own shit done and have like a few moments to like, come alive, come alive, come alive. Waking up with kidney disease, which is what I have, sucks ass. You're coming, like waking up into pain and fog and just, you feel like your body is dead because it's basically dying because I'm an end stage renal disease. And so waking up a little bit earlier than everybody else gives me a little bit of time to like come to temperature before I have to face teenagers and a husband who is grouchy as fuck in the morning before he's had his first cup of coffee. So that'll be tracked here. Now this cleaning spread actually comes into play. One of my things for my tending list, and we're gonna be putting some of these other things in here too, from my power sheets, is to execute the cleaning plan. And I have the monthly tasks and the, the biannually, the quarterly tasks, the yearly, all of them have trackers here, but I don't have trackers for the daily and the weekly tasks. And those are the ones I wanna to add to this calendar so I can keep track of doing them. Now on the daily tasks, I'm only gonna put five of these because making my bed is something I already do every day. It's just here as a reminder. Cleaning the coffee pot is something Jesse does every day. Again, just as a reminder. And then cleaning my desk is actually in here because that's part of my power sheets, things I wanna take care of. So I don't need it in my bullet journal. I'm not cleaning it for cleanliness sake. I'm cleaning it for mental health sake. So I have a clean desk to like keep me from losing my shit. But the ones I do wanna put on my monthly, the five of them are doing the dishes every day, wiping down the kitchen, sweeping the kitchen, sanitizing the sinks and wiping down the bathroom. All things I do on a regular basis, but I'm not always consistent at. I also wanna put a weekly tracker for all 12 of these items that need to be done every 
week. Part of my situation here is that I want all of us to execute the cleaning plan, but I want to be able to check off that it got done to, so that if I'm doing it, it holds me accountable. And if the kids are doing it or Jesse, it's helping me remind myself to hold them accountable because to be perfectly honest, no matter how much I wish they would take it all on themselves and I wouldn't have to worry about it. That's just not realistic. Those are the only habits I'm going to be tracking in my bullet journal, at least as of right now. You may ask, Cindy, why do you have habit trackers in your bullet journal and your power sheets? Well, having a daily tracker for some of those things that are really aligned with the goals I'm working towards gives me the accountability to actually go to my power sheets every day to check in on them. So that's how it's worked for me in the past. But some of these habits are actually things I don't want to track in there. The weekly habit is getting the cleaning plan done. This is a little, it just, it's the way my brain is working right now. Let's, let's just go with it. Okay. And don't, don't, don't judge me. So I already counted in the squares for this because I really just did not want to spend 85 years counting on camera because fuck that. I hate drawing in the crevasse. And if you're wondering why I'm not using a ruler, ultimately I hate rulers. I do have rulers. I just don't use them very often. But honestly, the biggest reason is because they uh, tend to cause more trouble than they're worth for me. I tend to fuck myself up more with a ruler, maybe because at least when I'm drawing my line down like this, I accept that I'm going to have some jank ass lines. But when I'm drawing my lines down with a ruler, it's like, oh, they could be perfect, but they might not be. Do you know what I'm saying? I'm also starting this as a Monday start and I am not putting in days where there aren't any because I want to put illustration there maybe. I'm not sure yet. I haven't decided. I didn't go into this as a full-blown plan. That's why I drew dots and not lines. I just wanted to know where like the squares were because that's the part that I hate the most. So when I drew, when I originally blocked in my calendar, I forgot that I was going to put up a little extra couple of spots to do like the, you know, the days of the week. Going to have my little week-long habit tracker line up with it, but because it wasn't going to, I figured moving it down a little bit would actually work better because then I could put a tree kind of up behind it. And then I'm going to put two stamps here and three here, and that's going to suck my asshole, but we're going to need to do it. Committed to stamping this year because drawing habit trackers is awful for my tendonitis. And I got a lot of great suggestions for pencil boards to look for for make stamping easier. I just haven't shopped for them yet. And with everybody shopping for Christmas, it's not like I would have gotten it very quickly anyway. So we're not too worried about it. I'm going to kind of line them up down here so I can write the habits up above. That's hairy. Why is my stamp hairy? Oh, it's probably from the baby wipes. These fuck ups aren't super awful. So I can kind of fix them. God damn it. Where is the... I feel like God damn it is like the theme of this particular habit. Habit tracker. Fucking bullet journal situation there we go it's kind of fixed i think hopefully by the end of this year i will have figured out how to stamp without it looking like complete raw bullshit ah shit that goes the ink did i get on my pants no i'm good <laughs> just uh i don't think so no i'm good i'm good i got this i'm, I'm, I'm holding it together <laughs> Just barely. I love this idea of like the darker color up above, even though I don't know how many months it's going to take before I lose patience with the white pen on top of something that's not black. This might be where we bust some mustard out. I'm just adding a little extra of the lighter colors to, you know, I don't know, make it look kind of cool. Would have been easier with one of the Tombos though. And I think I'll use these guys to fill in the bottom habit trackers as well, which means I need to use one of the darker colors to block out the first, what, four days. And then really quick, we'll just add a couple of the same splotches I've been doing to let them dry before I add trees. These colors are very much not in my comfort zone, by the way. The blues are in my comfort zone, but the mustard added in is really not. And that's for January. Okay, let's add some trees. Back to the Tombow. That's all in. Oh, I guess I should do the, the branches. We're not just gonna leave them alone, are we? Uh, maybe, maybe we are. It's a little sloppy looking, but I'm totally okay with that. Now I just need to put the white in and the numbers and write in my habits and we can move on to the next situation.
So the only thing I have left to do now is to just do that last little bit of outlining, but I'm going to do it with a slightly bigger tip just because this is a slightly bigger spread. Fuck it. I'm going to use my PN because that's the one I found. And there is my monthly spread for January. It is very elaborate and my hand is now completely covered in ink. But these trees, they're like easy as fuck. Oh, see, it's bleeding through a little bit there. Eh, whatever. I don't care at this point. Is that bleeding through? Or is that from something else? It might be from something else, but uh, whatever. And now we are on to two much more simple spreads. This is kind of for sleep research with a little bit of space for uh, brainstorming book club books. And the reason I'm doing this is specifically because on my power sheets, it says I want to track my sleep and I want to research sleep habits and brainstorm books. So I'm offering myself some space to do the things that I said I wanted to do. Is that the way it's supposed to work? Yes, I think so. The first thing I'm gonna do is a sleep tracker. It's just gonna be a simple box and along the top, it's going to have the hours of the day, 24, and down the bottom, it is going to have the days of the month and I am just going to highlight when I'm sleeping and I think I might also add a category for when I am resting. That might be ambitious, but I am nothing if not ambitious today. I counted correctly and I'm not using military time because I never can freaking remember how it works. It occurs to me now that maybe next time I should start this at like nine or something and run it that way. Oh, well, you live and you learn, right? And while that's drying, I will do this side, which is going to be a combination sleep research and book club books. So I basically need about a third of the page. I'll go about here for the book club books and then up here, the sleep tracker. And what I'm going to do is just do like one or two trees along the side and then just divide it up. I made these trees a little bit sparser. I figured that they were gonna be showing, nothing was gonna be blocking them. We are rolling through this situation. The other thing I need to do is pick, so I'm gonna use the, the mustard for the gray for sleep. I'm not gonna try and track like my sleep quality, just am I sleeping or am I not? Do you know what I'm saying? And then over on this side, I'm gonna bust back out my my, my fatty graphic boom baddie. And now the final step is to grab my PN. I, oh, I found my five, I'll use that one this time. <laughs> I think this is my favorite color combination I've ever used, but I really kind of liking how different it is for me. Like even the weekly bullet journal situation, the monthly January, the, not the monthly, can I think? Yeah, no, I can't. What's the word I'm looking for? The yearly bullet journal, these ones, these colors were in my comfort zone and the picture, the drawings were in my comfort zone. This is a little out of my comfort zone and I'm pretty proud of it. So we have the brain dump page that could just be a quote page. We have this little situation with my task list, my calendar for the month and all of the habits I'm trying to keep up with. And then a spot to track my sleep, spot to research my sleep and a spot to put book club ideas. And now I am ready to, I have been drawing all of the side of my bullet journal, by the way. I am now ready to uh, do my first weekly spread, which will happen on January 3rd at 2.30 p.m. Pacific time right here live. So hopefully you'll join me then. I would love to hear from you in the comments below. What is a color combination you're going to use in the month of January, whether it's for a weekly or for a monthly? I'd love to hear any colors you might be. And also if you're interested in my methods of kind of picking out colors, ways to like, like really start looking at, I know we've talked about like potentially doing a color theory for absolute noobs before, but this is kind of, now that I'm starting to plan out the new year, I'd like to have your interest in it because I'd like to know. So let me know in the comments below. Thank you so much for watching. Subscribe if you haven't already. And until next time, peace out.